name is BB Wood. I play Lake and I am on Love Victor. Hi, I'm Rachel Hilson. I play Mia on Love Victor. I'm Ava Capri. I play Lucy in Love Victor. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So this question is going to be for both of you. And BB, if you want to go ahead and answer first, that would be amazing. So you both have several iconic kisses during the course of the show. And not to mention the relationships and love, Victor, are such a huge part of the show that we all love so much. But we really want to dive into these on-screen kisses. So Lake's first kiss was with Felix, and Lake's last kiss was with Lucy. And then Mia's first kiss was with Victor, and Mia's last kiss was, was with Andrew. Your first, Lucy's first kiss was with Andrew and Lucy's last kiss is with Lake. So as an actress, how do you prepare for these on-camera kisses? Is it awkward? Is it fun? Do you have a process? How does the whole thing work? Well, what's super fun is now because of COVID, we have to do Listerine. So, so every time I think of COVID, I mean, well, <laughs> yeah, every time I think of COVID, but every time I think of kissing scenes, like anytime I'm reading a script and I'm like, oh, there's a kissing scene. That just means, you know, all day you basically swig Listerine and then like and Listerine, right? That's the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's so yeah. interesting. Oh like, my god! Like, you like spit it out into a water bottle, and I remember my first Being every take, every take, every single take. So you know, sure, you know, maybe in pre-COVID times, you would think, oh man, like is this going to be awkward? I haven't kissed them yet. You know, usually it, like I never thought of that, thought of it like that. It's just like, oh, work, I guess. Yeah. But now it's just more so, ah, oh, damn it. I got to do the Listerine. <laughs> That's so funny. I would have never known that. That is so cool. I think it's so fun. I mean, I feel like Mason and BB are the best and they're so fun and easy to kiss. Um, so I, I don't know. It was, I, no prep was needed. Um, it was just, it was just nice and fun. Just effortless. So do you, is that something that you, as an actor, you have to practice with your scene partner before you start rolling or, or do you just get to set that day and, and just do the scene or how does that work? I mean, sometimes we'll like run lines and stuff and we always rehearse, but, um, I, I don't think there's practicing kissing, um, at least, you know, um, yeah, no. <laughs> That's so interesting. I lo love to hear it. Amazing. Okay, so Rachel, what is your behind the scenes take on the on camera kissing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, eh, a similar sentiments to BB with the COVID thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> uh, it's it's always. I mean, you know, you're 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 playing a role. I know this sounds so like un, whatever. Uh, glamorous but like yeah you are playing a role I'm I'm really good friends with with both Michael and Mason Mason in particular we're like very very tight and and so um yeah we just kind of have a have fun with it make make jokes of it especially with like having to swish before every take um there's always some sort of like positioning like when we're finally on camera like there was the jump up scene obviously and the grand uh the grand kiss uh and yeah I mean there's a lot of technical aspects that like you probably wouldn't think of and so yeah it's like kiss but like turn this way Rachel head out a little bit more Mason can you lower your hand like lots of those things that are kind of unsexy but um Oh yeah, for sure. It is. <laughs> so interesting. So kind of choreographed. So do you guys have to practice it beforehand and do like a run through and kind of like block it a bit? Like do the blocking for it or is it just like lights, camera action and you go for it? You definitely block beforehand. And what's interesting is like with those certain things like, oh, you know, Ava, lower your shoulder. You're blocking BB's chin or like whatever. You know what I mean? Like specific things like that. That is less. It's more so like as you as you film, those things sort of come up and you're like, oh, you know, maybe that didn't happen during the rehearsal, but now it's happening, you know, in this take in this take. So you kind of, you know, as you go um, change certain things or, you know, tweak certain things, I guess. Um, Try not to eat seaweed beforehand or like, yeah. I don't know, things like that. I love it. That's amazing. That's so interesting. And the Listerine thing, I would have never known. Oh, the writers wrote such amazing storylines from beginning to end for each of your characters. Is there anything you would have liked to see more of from your character as far as something else that you would have liked to um, 
another aspect of your character that you would have liked to get more screen time or part of your story that you wish was shown more? Yeah, I wish that, um, like, Lucy's family was a little bit, like, if we had more episodes or another season could get to be explored. And also, I feel like Lucy, just kind of, like, her own journey, you know, from dating Andrew to kind of realizing that doesn't quite feel right and, you know, getting to the point um, where we end up in season three and, yeah, just a little bit more, like, intimate um, details about that journey and, and her home life would be cool. Yeah, we would love that too. So, of course, filming the show must have been so special for you. Was there anything that you decided to take home from set as memorabilia that you're going to like cherish forever? Yeah, I know both BB and I stole like a bunch of like fancy olive oil from set oh. <laughs> uh, because Lake's Kitchen was like had like the nicest kitchen stuff, and I, we love to cook so. Took that. I took boots that were Lucy's. Um, How fun. I didn't think too much. And people stole some other. I should have stole more. Anthony told me he took a designer bag, and I'm like, I wasn't. I wasn't on it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I honestly like use the olive oil every day. Still, um, it was a pretty big bottle, so I'm happy with it. That's so fun. I love it. So season, we're we're so excited to just watch you shine in this final season. Um, what do you hope that the audience takes away from you as a character on the show? Um, that uh, it's okay to keep like writing and rewriting your life and figuring out what works for you. Um, and, you know, be brave enough to be yourself and put yourself out there and uh, follow your heart. Okay, so I have to wrap this up, but I would like to ask. So at the end of the season, Victor gives a speech where he states, embrace the scary. So I'd love to ask, what does that mean to you personally? And we can start with Rachel. Ah, uh, I love that. Embrace the scary. Um, my friend Sarah in college always used to say, follow the fear. And um, I think that's kind of what it's reminded me of. It's just kind of like, I don't know, just, 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 just push yourself a little bit or just like, um, yeah, go into the unknown and <laughs> just try things maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's brilliant. What about you, baby? I think often the things that we find the most scary are like the things that we should probably be doing more, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, like not like, you know, absolutely like crazy, but you know, like generally speaking, I think like, there's been so many times where I'm like, oh man, that seems really complicated. Like, I don't think I can do that. Or, oh, like I have to make this deadline. Like, I can't do that. That's like way too scary. I can't prepare all of this by then. And and I think like, if you're like, no, I can do it. And even if I can't, it's just about like figuring out the ways in which, you know, you can do the things that you yeah, set your absolutely. mind. Absolutely. That makes sense. So yeah, I think like generally speaking, like pushing yourself to do things that you find scary is a really healthy thing. Um, I think it means like be brave. I I really believe in so much is of the things that are wonderful of life or just, you know, right behind, you know, right beyond our comfort zone. And so I think it's um, being brave enough to be yourself. Um, I think that's a huge entire theme of all of La Victor. And I think all the characters kind of go through that in their own way. Um, but yeah, I think it's like to that, to, you know, try something, you know, be brave enough to not care what other people think of you um, or things like that. So, yeah. Yeah, I love that. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That was great insight, you guys. Thank you so much. It was so wonderful talking with both of you. And we love you and we can't, to see, we can't wait to see what's next for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks for talking with me. Have a good day. Bye.